Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's around 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, November 8th. Coming on this morning with the latest on Hurricane Rafael, centered here over the south central Gulf of Mexico. Still a pretty powerful hurricane this morning. Maximum sustained winds based on data from the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunters around 110 miles per hour. Uh, we have seen the system peak. It got a little stronger overnight, but now we're starting to see those winds come down and we expect Rafael to continue weakening gradually and then more rapidly as we get into the weekend and early next week. Right now, the system is centered about 525 miles to the east of the mouth of the Rio Grande, and it's moving off to the west at about nine miles per hour. Now, in terms of impacts, because the forecast has not really changed very much, we're, we're not expecting really direct impacts anywhere along the Gulf Coast outside of dangerous surf and rip current conditions, which we'll touch on in a minute. So the track forecast for Raphael is a little complex. We're going to see a, a slowing forward speed and then a west-northwestward motion in the next day or so, and then we're expecting Raphael Raphael to stall and meander here right over the you know, sort of central Gulf of Mexico all the way from Saturday into Sunday and even early Monday, not moving very much, but gradually weakening during that time due to the effects from dry air and some increasing upper level winds. Then as the system becomes weaker, we're expecting a steadier south southwestward motion to begin as we get into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with the system uh, losing its tropical characteristics by Tuesday and Wednesday and weakening to a remnant low. Uh, but again, not expecting a lot of direct impacts, but let's think real quickly about the rip currents. Again, Raphael, a hurricane producing a lot of big waves, all that energy going into the ocean. We have moderate to high risk of rip currents today across the middle and lower Texas coast, much of the Florida Panhandle, Alabama, the Florida West Coast, and really even where you don't see those red and yellow lines, there's gonna be dangerous surf and rip current conditions across much of the Gulf of Mexico coastline. And as we get into Saturday, those same areas are gonna be feeling the effects of those surf and rip currents. And just a reminder, it can still be a nice day at the beach, but that distant hurricane can cause uh, deadly rip currents along the coastline. Never assume that the ocean is safe, even if the weather is nice, and please don't get in the water if it does not appear safe and follow any warnings that are being posted at those beaches. And you can get more information at weather.gov beach. So just to wrap up here on the key messages for Raphael on this Friday morning, the swells generated by the hurricane are already generating life-threatening surf and rip current conditions along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to continue through the weekend and likely into early next week. Uh, it's for, this hurricane is forecast to move slowly over the central Gulf of Mexico this weekend and early next week, eventually weakening. So interest, especially in the southern and southwestern Gulf, should continue to monitor its progress. So we'll be back with more on Rafael throughout the weekend. You can always come get information here uh, from the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov and information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.